Hey, so. I'm Drew. And I'm no, Tani. <laughs> and this is some important copyright information. First off, we've got the bundle of rights. For those of you who don't know, the first one in the bundle, number one, is to reproduce. The second one in the bundle of rights is to make derivative works. The third in the bundle of rights is to distribute. The fourth, my friends. The fourth is to perform. The fifth is to display. The sixth is to broadcast. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the rights. Alright, now to be a part of the bundle of rights, you have to be a work of authorship, which includes one, written works, or er, literary works, two, choreography, or pantomime, three, architecture, four, works of art, including paintings, sculpture, all that fun stuff, uh, five, film and other audio visual works, six, dramatic works, including musicals, which is also coincidentally enough number seven because it's actually a different thing. Musical work. Musical work. <laughs> and number eight, sound recordings, which is what you're here for. She's not Honk, <laughs> All right, kids. Next up, we've got licenses. What is a license? Why do you need one? Why do you need a license? I'm glad you asked, Nathan. <laughs> in order to... Uh, <laughs> In order to do things such as recording, uh, <laughs> reproducing in film, uh, reproducing for any purpose, making a derivative work, performing, uh, uh, performing via digital audio transmission, or uh, performing in public, you need to have different kinds of licenses, yeah. Yeah. such as a mechanical <laughs> license for recording and reproducing a musical work. You need to ask Fox? Harry Fox need, about that one. And you need to talk to Harry Fox about that. Yeah. It's an agency, not a man named Harry. He's not Foxy. <laughs> to reproduce in okay, film or AV thing. works, you need to have a synchronization license. Uh, and that you go through the music publisher. And to reproduce for any purpose a sound recording, you need to have a master use license. You go through the record company for that. Tony, why don't you tell us about a couple of other licenses? You need an adaptation license. Uh, How could you know how to make a derivative work? You need to talk to the copyright owner for that. Um, the exceptions include uh, uh, mechanical licenses or something like that because I have no idea what the hell that says. <laughs> no, no, no. I get it. Because hyper and suit. Uh, yeah, you need a public performance license for like musical works. Like if you want to play your music in public, you talk to the ASCAP or BMI or CSAC about that one. Um, what other type of public performance licenses are there? Well, there's a sound recording one. Uh, that's like if you want to do like a digital audio transmission or something like that, like over the radio or webcasting. So you can talk to like Sound Exchange about that one. Okay. And then there's your public performance for a motion picture. So if you like have it in a movie or something like that, or if you actually have a film and you're putting it in theaters. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you need to talk to the motion picture license. Ah, uh, the MPLC. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> okay. So there you go. Now you have some copyright information. Oh, yeah. Thank you. At all. Good luck on your panel.